welcome to the Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of advice, some tips and tricks for knowing how to go in the ring and in what order, both in the breed ring and in the group rings. So stay right there and we'll go inside the building and I'll tell you more. Okay, we are headed in the building now and I'm going to show you how you see the ring numbers. Find the ring that you're going to be showing. So, let's see right there. Right there, that's the ring number, and there's ring numbers down here, over here, and over here. So when you enter the dog show, you're going to make sure you find the ring that you're scheduled to show in, and there will be both a judge right here judging the dogs, and something that's called the ring store sitting at the tables. Ring. You're going to go to the ring store and you should have your papers that were sent from the superintendent uh, that you should have received them in the mail and sometimes you get an email confirmation as well. You're going to go to that ring store and you're going to ask for the armband number that you were given on your paperwork. So now let's go on up to the ring store and I'll get you some more information. You can see this American exhibitor is looking in the catalog, double checking her number, and seeing what number she's going to ask for for the judge. As we have dogs going in the ring right now, you can see the judge is judging, and the ring steward is come, calling the dog in the class, and the ring steward is going to help the next exhibitor get their number so they're prepared. So there you go. If you don't know your number from your email or your mailed confirmation, there is typically a catalog ringside like this. You're going to find your breed, find your dog's name, and find the number. And some happy person like this will also have their book and can assist you on getting your number. And when they call the class that you're entered in, they will call your number. And that's how you know how to go in the ring. So here's another example. Zipper has her black coated retriever. She's looking up in the catalog. The judge is judging what's currently in the class right now. And the ring steward is monitoring what the judge is judging, but also going to help when it's the appropriate time. This exhibitor get her number. Did you hear the ring steward? He just called the next class by the class name and the exhibitor's number. Once that class is in and the judge is set to judge, the ring steward is going to come back and help the next exhibitor get their number. And this dog is going in the ring too. They were waiting for it to switch armbands. If you have any questions or comments on what I'm saying, just leave the, the questions or comments in the comment box down below and I'll do my best to try to answer your questions. Resume. We're watching the ring store pass out this exhibitor her number. So I really hope that this helps. When you come in your building, you find your ring number, you go to your steward. If you don't remember your number, you have the catalog right there to double check your number. And you always will have a ring store that will help you get your number and just wait for them to call your class and your number. The judge has finished judging these two dogs. She's going to take a closer look. She placed them one and two. We will come over to the markers over here. I have called it. And the judge has her book. The ring steward is going to call the numbers that are on their arms. And they're each going to mark the first and second places. Now the ring steward is calling in what's called the winner's bitch, the first places in each class. So again, if you listen to your ring steward, you will know when to enter the ring. So we have three first place winners. All three are now in the ring, and the judge is going to judge winner's bitch. So again, the judge is judging this class. And each exhibitor has their number on their arm. And after the judge has examined both dogs, she will use that armband number to mark her books and set her awards. At the end of the day, those are her best of breed and best opposite sex winners. Um, there were no champions today. It was just two class animals. 
and they regroup the ring steward and the judge to prepare for the next breed and they're going to call in they were on standard poodles now they're starting flat coats so the ring steward called in the first flat coat entry i really hope this helps on how to enter the ring at the breed level judging but stay tuned and we'll come back with some group level judging and how to enter the group ring. So just going back a little bit uh, regarding what you get in the mail, you will get a letter from the superintendent, whatever superintendent uh, is hosting that dog show. Inside that envelope will be what I said, your confirmation of all the days your dog is entered. And right here it does say catalog number and what class you entered. Along with this confirmation, you will also receive what's called a judging program. And inside the judging program, it will tell you the date of the event, where the event is being held, any specifics about that event, you know, more information from your superintendent. Um, and then there will be the index of breeds. You simply look at your breed, uh, whatever breed you're showing, and then over to the ring number and what time you show. And like I showed you, you walk in the building and you find that ring number, whatever corresponds to the breed that you have. Okay, everyone, in the afternoon, if you are lucky enough to win Best of Breed, you move on to this big ring, which is our group ring. You should be able to see centered out there. Placements one, two, three, four, and a sign in the middle that says the group name for the superintendent's table. Um, it should be listed what the group order is. This is the um, Tidewater Kennel Club table. Oh, here we go. Here's the superintendent's table. If there's any changes to the group order, it will be published over here. But it will be listed in your judging program and right here. The group order and the start time and the ring. So it's 3.15 and ring one. And this is ring one and the ring is all set up. We have our stewards getting ready to start the groups. A couple of judges sitting and waiting to do their assignments. First is gonna be the terrier group and you will see them come into the ring by size and speed. The, the, this time, the ring steward will not be calling them in by catalog order. They're gonna come into the ring by size and speed. So the bigger dogs in front, the longer legged dogs in front, and the faster dogs moving in front, the slower dogs will enter behind. the judge awards the dog in the terrier group, the next group, which is the hound group, people are getting ready again to enter the ring. And once again, it will be by size and by speed, bigger dogs up front. And if you happen to be a more novice handler, this is a good opportunity to find someone that you know and trust in the lineup to follow and to learn from a little bit. And we have the hound dogs getting ready to go in the ring. They've changed the sign out in the middle there. And the next judge steps out. The steward calls them in. And obviously you can see the bigger dogs walking in, smaller dogs out here. They're just sorting themselves. No one's telling them the order. They're looking at the competition, sizing it up, and entering the ring. So those big dogs up in the front, the smaller dogs, and lower-legged dogs at 
and I'll try to grab a couple more groups for you but if not I hope this helps you know when to enter the group ring judging. Okay, we just finished with the hound group and the toy dogs in the ring. Um, as you can see, all of these dogs are small. So it's not necessarily size and speed when it comes to toy dogs. Um, and I do want to clarify, when we call it size and speed, the reason for that is if the judge says take the class around the ring, there won't be a pile up and a dog running into the dog ahead of it. So that's why size and speed is important, is in, in case the entire class goes around the ring. But again, as you can see in the toy group, they're all fairly close to the same size. So I'm going to assess it by the speed of the breed that you're showing. why the size and speed is so important. You don't want to run up on the dog in front of you. This is the hurting group. Lower legged dogs with the street, you'll notice that they're not always the tallest ones in the front, but more importantly, the speed of the dog. Always important in the working room. So it's the judge's choice. Tonight the judge will call them in. But you can see the dogs preparing, getting ready to go in for best in show. We have a Great Dane, a German Shepherd, a Springer Spaniel, a, an American Foxhound, and a Pug. So almost guaranteed the Pug will be going in last. Oops, we have a Westie also. There's the Westie. And I almost missed the miniature. Here we go, she is doing it by size and speed. We have the shepherd building it off. Followed by the great game. Foxhound, Springer. And so it will be by size and speed. Thank you everyone. Well that's it everyone. That wraps up another Tips and Tricks by Blue Rose Kennels, sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. We hope you learned something useful here today. And if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share this with anyone that you think might like it. We'll see you in our next episode.